Hello folks, I'm back again. Um, the other day I made this teapot but I never, I never finished it. And um, it's trimmed and everything. I've got the spout on. I've actually, the lid was actually made before and it's already dried out. It's a little bit tight fit but when this body of the teapot um, dries out it'll fit as well it'll fit nicely so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually throw a handle a side handle that's going to come off the side of the teapot here I don't usually do this but I'm, in this case I want to do a side handled teapot so I'm just going to throw that form now for the teapot put the teapot just down there I've got a lump of clay here I'm not sure how much it weighs, let's just check it. I'm not sure if it's the right amount exactly. Hang on. Got a bit of protective film over the six and a half ounces as I say it might be it might be a little bit too much anyway so let me just lower the lower the lower the camera a little bit just put the teapot here in the foreground maybe we can just see it there a little bit um, onto which we're going to put this handle so get on and do that Now you could throw this kind of uh, handle, you could throw it off the hump. So basically it's a hollow a hollow handle Now I think I've got a little bit too much clay so I'm going to just take take some off with my needle tool
base of the handle here is, is flared as you see because that's going to join onto the onto the side there of the teapot. Now I need to be a bit vigilant here that I'm not making a handle that's going to be sticking out too far. It wants to be comfortable for the hand. I think we've I think we've hit it about right. Now the ending here and how you finish this is 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 up to you is up to is up to you really. I'm just wondering whether I shall add a little um, uh, looking for a tool of mine. Not there. Yeah, I've got a rounded rib that I was after. But I'm not seeing it there. My rounded rib. Okay, uh, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Okay, so I've got a lollipop stick here, and I the other day I I ground some teeth in the lollipop stick. So I'm thinking I may just put some bands of these like teeth here. And there. And there. And there. Maybe down there. Okay. Let me just uh, leather the leather the top here. So why did I So why did I bother to Why did I put the bands there? I put them there because I I was thinking the bands add a slightly decorative look to the handle but also a functional aspect to it as well and that is that, that when you when you pick the handle up when you pick the handle up your the bands the grooves here will give you some grip in the hand So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire, my cut off wire and cut through. Now if I touch this now I probably will smudge the, the, um, the band. So
I want to find something to assist me to lift it off and I'm just going to take that there. We'll let that stiffen off and join it onto the onto the onto the body of the teapot. I want to pick it up, don't I, and, and sort of put it to the side here just to see that it's it's about the right size. But I I I mustn't touch it anymore, otherwise I'll smudge the the pattern there. So, hey, keep practicing. See you soon.